Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. It's been a pretty crazy day starting off XRP actually beat ADA again. That means XRP is back in a top three and that also means that you guys should press the like button if you are enjoying the daily crypto news because it helps me out a ton. Uh, why does that mean that? I have no idea. Just <laughs> if you want to help out, it helps out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, I think. And my question of today is what time are you watching this video at? I think it's going to be like 5 a.m. or something when I post this. I still have to edit and do a couple of small, small minor things. But I think it's going to be like 5 a.m. my time. So let me know down below what city or country you're watching from in your time zone or like what time it is for you right now. You guys are crazy, right? You guys are really, really crazy. Having said that, Bitcoin is breaking records once more. I think we're going to be going to all-time high. And as I've said before, $50,000 is really, really, really around the corner. But more so talking about XRP, it's one fun thing that I always tell people. XRP is going to be one of the most important cryptos in the crypto world from now on forward, basically. Mostly on the idea that this loss right now that they got going for themselves, which also does indicate that there's quite a huge amount of profitability in just the next couple of days. That's a side note. That lawsuit is going to be so detrimental for crypto's future that everybody in the crypto space will know about it. That's one. But also they will always refer to that one in further cases, which will come. Don't get it twisted. It will get to more. You know, there'll be more crypto products who will get sued. So don't you worry about that. XRP is just the first one and most likely the biggest one, not the last one. Uh, so it's also interesting to me how even while they're being sued like that, they can still get themselves into the top of the freaking top. That means, once more, as I said, XRP has got a ridiculously huge loss on top of them, which will most likely have killed any other crypto that's not in the top, I guess, three or five. It would have most likely just busted them all to the ground. If Tron gets freaking sued right now, you better understand properly that that coin has literally zero to build on. It will definitely just fall to the freaking ground. I personally would really sell every single dime I had, even though I am a TRX holder, don't get me wrong. I would just not trust it that much because there's so many allegations of TRX really doing some shady stuff. And I just trusted it a lot less because of all the marketing efforts rather than uh, XRP. On a different note, I also really think that selling could be a very big mistake. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it because there's a ton of exclusions. There's a ton of reasons why you could sell some coins and why that could be a good idea for you. I am, however, very much against selling all coins for all coins just because I know there's always tiers that end up on, on, on some side. I mean, you could have tears of joy for making a good call, but you can also have tears of just freaking hatred and you want to stab yourself in the foot because you made a bad bet. And I've had it before. I talked about it in previous videos. I just recommend against selling altcoins for altcoins, not necessarily selling crypto. However, as I've also said before, just think about yourself in four years from now. Would you be happy that you got this small amount of profit or would you want to kind of Go on, be a soldier, and get yourself like times four or so over just the next couple of years. I'm taking four as a really, really conservative bet here, as I think times 25 is also still a light bet. Having said that, Kevin Cage just posted, anyone ever hope for the market to pull back so that you can buy the dip? If it then dips, or sorry guys, it then dips, and when it happens, you're almost too scared to buy? I am guilty of this, and I think almost anybody has had that too. One thing I have against selling and buying back cheaper is that you will always want to buy even cheaper. If your plan is to sell, at, for example, 60 cents XRP and buy back somewhere, unless you have, I want to buy 55 cents and I'll do that, you'll always be like, eh, let me just buy at the dip. Let me just see exactly where it's going to go to. Because, well, if you buy at 55 cents, you're, no, you're not going to remember that you sold at 60. That's not in your head. It's just, hmm, am I going to buy at 55, which means... My new entry will be a 55 cents, which means if you go to 40 cents, I basically lost that 15 cent difference right there. That's the way you're going to think about it. Not like, hmm, I sold at 60, which means right now I have a 5 cent better entry. So that means if we go down, I'm theoretically speaking down less on the coins that I have because I got a cheaper entry, which means I can probably, if I buy back now even a little bit more, I might be even able to DCA, you know, and, and get my average price even lower. That's not how people think. They're like, oh, damn, I'm still down more. Oh, that's why I'm always against trying to time the dip. I'm always against just or I'm always for just buying in 
kind of weekly periods, for example, or daily things where you just buy every so often. Not selling, buying, as it will just kind of guarantee that you get a good uh, amount of XRP in, for example, or any crypto for that matter, and a good price too, as you're taking kind of the average over a couple of days. Then I wanted to show you guys something. It was this one, I believe, this tweet right here. Not too sure. I think actually this is for the next video, so don't 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 look at that one. Here, this one. Girl Gone Crypto said, I can't imagine being a no coiner right now. It's actually really interesting to me. This channel, we talked about crypto for three and a half years or so, but I've held crypto for so ridiculously long, I cannot even remember not doing so. But there's still a very big difference between me purchasing crypto and, and being part of it and actually doing this crypto game full time, just talking about it every single day, just being busy with coins every single day. That's a very big difference right there. But I cannot imagine my life without crypto. I cannot imagine how, how people kind of live without knowing about crypto. That's the same fun part about um, people getting into stocks, though. Like, it's almost impossible for you to just think about people who really don't like stock or who, who don't invest anything. It's some such a different world. It's something really interesting to me. Moving on, though, SB Investments says, XRP is back to the number three spot. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. This is more so so for times at which it is not. Uh, just to show you guys that it actually did get back in there. Just kind of a proof because, again, everybody saw it, but it's not there all the time, of course. Then on Tron, you know, speaking about that one, Lindsay Lohan tweeting about Tron. Is it time to take profits? I've talked about these types of ordeals more often where I always say, if some very famous celebrities start to talk about it in a promoting sense, not in a sense of enthusiasm, but in a, you know, like, hmm, I got paid a little bit of money. Let me shield the frick out of this coin. It is mostly time to get out because it starts to become really kind of either meme or so where just people are memeing it around or a little bit unstable because you have no idea what the marketing mastermind uh, is doing right now or what they're up against or what their, you know, what their plan is. I always like it when companies put up some statement about them because they're either working or, you know, they, they've got an incentivized project. OK, but if a influencer just says, hey, here's why I'm using Tron or something like that. I really despise that. I really find that disrespectable. I really just sincerely hate that type of stuff. Lindsay Lohan said, exploring DeFi and already liking Just Sun on TRX. Super fast and zero fee. Good job. That's just freaking BS. It's not original uh, traffic or anything like that. It's freaking, <laughs> this is laughable in my opinion. Uh, then another thing, by the way, go check out GSX. A link is down below. It's the first gold-backed coin, the first of its kind, a growth coin for that matter. It's pretty interesting to me. I'm hoping to get a huge return on this. We do not know if it actually will. It could even lose us money. But as I said before, I am buying a couple of gems just at the freaking bottom. Some coins which are really bare freaking cheap. This coin is 10 cents per piece, plus a 14% bonus, plus a 14% bonus, plus a 5% bonus for using my link. Go check it out. A link is down below. I personally have a couple thousand dollars in this. So just go check it out, as I've said before. All right. Then actually on this one here, founder of Tron, Justin Sun, is actually unfazed by his huge loss on GameStop, which is one other thing you should know. He lost, I believe, like seven, eight million dollars, maybe maybe already ten million dollars in this. You can see here, Tron founder Justin Sun lost eight million dollars after investing in GameStop, but he's still holding that's um, definitely interesting, right? So he just said, we don't actually know if he did. He said he bought $10 million worth of GME, which was definitely right around the top or so. If you check the uh, exact time of him doing that, I, from a certain perspective, don't really believe he actually did so, though, because, I mean, he's more so talk than, you know, really doing it. But in a different sense, he also most likely makes quite a lot of money with all his new projects. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't hire somebody like, like her to promote your project. ECB official floats idea for limits on digital euro holdings to discourage hoarding. When I saw this, I just wanted to almost puke as I have no idea what the ECB is planning right now. So we're talking here about freaking digital euro. So CBDC basically freaking limits for holdings, which means you cannot hold more than you would want from the digital euro because they don't want you to hoard it like what what's the, what what it's 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 really it's really odd to me I, I don't get this but this would prevent large inflows of bank deposits as well as volatile portfolio inflows from abroad into the central bank 
Panetta remarked, who went on to say, one way of doing this while allowing the digital euro to be used for large transactions would be to require incoming funds in access of a user's limit to be restrict, oh, sorry guys, redirected to a bank account. The link between private money and digital euro accounts would avoid fragmentation of a user's liquidity and would also be useful for outgoing payments. Large outgoing transactions could be conducted by transferring a combination of digital euro and private money, which to me really takes away the whole freaking concept of this. In a different sense, I also do understand, but that's something they, I think, should fix before ever putting up a digital euro like this. Otherwise, this is freaking stupid. I know corpse will not have this issue. It's only individuals, but still, if I want to buy a, you know, freaking a huge amount of Lambos, I want to import them as an individual, get a freaking face. Get your, get your head out your ass. What is this? It's really stupid. It's laughable, in my opinion. And uh, then also another one here. I just cleaned my Spark from Ledger. Nothing like procrastinating. Q chatted to Community Flare for probably the easiest walkthrough so far. Fun fact, I actually know exactly how to claim my XRP from my ledger, and still I haven't done it. Purely because I'm too lazy or procrastinating, depending on how you look at it, I just think, oh, let me just wait a little bit. Let me just wait a little bit. Let me just wait a little bit. I know nothing can happen, nothing bad. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Let me know if you've actually claimed your flare and what your price range is for that basically i've said it before i think flare might do really amazing but we should all be prepared for like a no shower where it's like no profitability whatsoever however it can be amazing like we saw on bitchu yet that's not really something we can compare it with to the real world as no big whales actually got their spark on flare it's not even really live right now it's only a couple of xrp holders who got it as bitchu is an xrp centered exchange it's not binance where most of these guys don't actually care about xrp they just care about money you know, so take that in the back of your head. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again in another Crypto One.